Hi, so it's Erica. <laughs> I just wanted to record my makeup today because it's been a long time and I have a lot more time to do it. So I decided to record myself doing a going out type of look. I think this is great for the fall and the winter, which it is right now. It's kind of leaning towards winter right now because it's snowing. But if you want to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching. And if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up just so that I know. It's not going to like help me in any like way except mentally knowing if you like the video or not. So feel free to like and subscribe so I know if I should upload any more. And you know, feel free to comment as well if you like the look, if I should do the demo look because I have a lot more time now. So, and I just want to let you know now that, okay, what I want to let you guys know as I did in the video that you'll see is I got so, 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 so many brushes off of Amazon. Like I'm using them. And so I'm just trying to tell you that they're like trustful and it's not like sketchy. And then the eyelashes that I'm wearing, I got off there as well. And I'm just going to like put everything in the bio. Um, like not everything. I, a lot of the products that I'm using in the bio. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And so I just wanted to let you know that I might be uploading a couple more very soon just because I want to get back on this roll. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. I'm not going to lie. It has been... It has been a minute. I hope my eyebrows look okay. I feel like they're, when I talk, I get distracted. I mean, they're naturally not even anyways. They've never been. If I look at pictures when I was a, a young one, they, um, they're pretty rough. So I already moisturized my face and stuff and my eyebrows are done. And I'm going to start off with my, my face makeup. Uh, I haven't upgraded my face makeup as in like I haven't even bought a new one since the last time I recorded which was in the summer and it is November late November I use Tarte clay foundation and oh I wanted to show you what I'm going to use it with I got new stuff Amazon I share prime with my loved ones my sister and I decided to get some stuff off there because they are affordable if you have Prime. Comes in two days, obviously. And I just, I like to try new things and then record it because then you guys, I was like, I don't know. It's just something for me to do, you know. So I got lip stuff that I will be showing you. Lip liner. Eyelashes that I might, might glue on to my eyeballs. And then brushes and whoa okay so you could order them oh no oh okay um one second obviously I just dropped them all but you can order them that Amazon Prime thing land in the background of this I don't know if that's a good thing or not but we're gonna keep it there and it comes with so many brushes of like all types um, foundation eyeshadow Eyebrow utensils, powder foundation, liquid foundation. So I'm going to try them out. I have, thank goodness, they say things on them for what they're for. Um, so I'm going to just try them out. This is cool, eyebrow brush. Didn't know, didn't know it came in here. I will be using definitely not all of these. There's so many came in here and they're white on the ends. You know, when I put my makeup on, they're going to turn orange and brownish. Let's just see how it goes. So, I moved the Amazon Prime thing because it was kind of bothering me. I don't even know what brush. I don't know the difference between these two. Um, one is a little more angled than the other. I'm going to... One's called face flat and one's called face flat angled. So, I think that the angled one would kind of be cooler on my head my face okay sometimes if I want to be really professional I will like crispen up my my eyebrows my eyebrows so there's this little concealer I have um, and I like Tarte concealer a lot
Okay, so I'm gonna try this Kabuki brush set, and um, I'm gonna apply, some people put on their concealer first, I'm gonna do my concealer after I put on my foundation, just cause that's the way that I do it. And I'm gonna squeeze some of my Tarte that are at two different colors because I haven't bought a new one in so long. And I think I'm gonna take my nose ring out for this look because I don't want it. I don't want it in. This brush, this is nice. This is this is nice because I don't use like I don't like blend blend with this. I look funny right now because like <laughs> the brush took away all my features. But from there, now, so foundation's like on, you know, um, not, not evenly, not evenly. I'm going to take a sponge, damp beauty blender, and go underneath my eyes with the light foundation that I have. You can use concealer for that as well, even anything works. And then I use a little bit of leftover foundation on top of my eye. Um, but I'm going to use like Rihanna's Fenty Beauty set thing. And I'm going to use a dark color and bring back features. I'm going to use this brush that's called Face Tapered. I have no idea. This if it's made for it, but, oh, I need, I need that because it's like a harder, it's like a harder brush right now that I'm using. Wow. As you can see, I don't have like a, um, a go-to set look, but what I am going to do is it gets a little creasy underneath my eyes, and I'm going to fix that with a powder. It's air spun. I'm gonna put that down below too because I know I got, you can get it off Amazon. Um, get it sent to you in a couple days. I love, I love it. What I'm gonna do is brush off like the crease, like get in the crease, like so. Oh yeah. And that gets the, the leftover foundation. Taking the sponge, I'm putting this under my eye. So I'm going to brush what I just did off. There it is. It's a contouring palette. I've had it for a while. I have had a lot of things for a while because I'm trying to, like I like to save money. I, in general, love to save money. So. A lot of the colors are gone. <laughs> Not a lot, too. And I'm going to go underneath my eye with a more neutral color because obviously it's too light right now. And so first I'm just kind of brushing that off lightly. Um, a lot of things that people like forget when they do their makeup is like they're just kind of aggressive with it and they think they're like blending it very well but if you're blending things on top of things all the time it's gonna end up turning a little bit on the splotchy side and so you have to just kind of make sure you're you're nice and gentle with it all this Contouring palette, Anastasia. I used to say Anastasia before, I knew. And I'm going to use the darker color in it. I'm gonna combine because I'm obviously not that, like, I don't need it to be that dark to contour. And then I just blend it with this big Real Techniques brush that I have. 
that I've had for a very long time. So after that's blended, it kind of like, like it's, it's nice, it's nice. We're gonna do eyeshadow and then we're gonna, I mean, yeah, eyeshadow and mascara and lips and then we're gonna go back in with the highlight. I'm not even gonna use eyeshadow at first, I'm using the same palette that I just did with one of the brushes that just came in that set. And I'm gonna go in with the second to darkest color. Obviously, we're all different skin colors here. I'll start with this eye. And I'm just putting that in the crease of my eye to bring back my natural crease. And when I look at the way I did my eyeshadow in one of my last videos, I almost died because I still don't know how to do it. But just like, I did it bad. Okay. I'm talking the one when I looked like a Hunger Game, Hunger Games character. This is off Amazon, as everything else is. It's not new. I've used it multiple, multiple times. And I'm just going to take browns off of it. Like these two, like brownish red. And okay, see, that's lighter than I thought it would be. Okay, so, so it's zoomed in right now. Um... Don't get scared. I'm gonna go in <laughs> with one of these, with uh, this color. It's like a reddish brown. And I'm putting that in the outer corner of my eye. I really think that's almost it with my eyeshadow. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I don't want it to be a lot. That I'm going to take, I'm gonna do the highlight at the end, so don't forget about that. But I do, as I've said, I have eyelashes that I got off Amazon, and I'm going to put them on. We're gonna have to do my lips soon because I have no lips right now. I mean, I in general don't, but like, whatever. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, and it looks beautiful. They're all three of the same kind. I'm not, I usually sometimes coat my eyelashes with mascara before I put this on, but I'm not going to. Instead, I have just this black pencil and I'm going to outline my waterline. Um, and I'm gonna outline the bottom of it too. I don't always outline the bottom of it, but I want to for this look, so I'm just gonna let you know that I'm going to do that. Um, my waterline and my top like eyelash line, just because like it'll help make it look fuller. And if this scares you, I'm so sorry, but like some people get get a little sensitive with that stuff. Just simple. See? We mess, we all mess up sometimes. I just wanted it to be like, I already know like my, um, these eyelashes are gonna be big. We're gonna see how it goes though. Here they are. Okay. Wow. Wow, oh, that's close up. Oh. Okay, so the other eye, I'm using my finger. I like my finger more, I think. I like eyelashes because they kind of change like the shape and the look of your eye. And I mean, that's like the point to it. You can wear makeup however the heck you wanna wear it. I'm going to use it on my waterline. I don't always do this, but I'm going to, too. Okay, after that, we're gonna do our lips real quick. Our lips. We're gonna do my lips real quick. I'm gonna do my lips real quick. These are the colors that come uh, in the, the set. So there's a lot. I'm going to do a, a darker one. I like to use lip liner and only lip liner. Sometimes matte mas mascara and lip liner, but like, I'm just gonna put it on and then from there you can see, I don't know, I just like the matte look a lot.
And then, very last color I'm going to use is usually a, a lighter color to, like it is a lot lighter. It's going to be called Natural Beige and I'm using that on the inside. For your lips, like one of the keys is to like, if you want them to look more out there, like you want to have a darker color on the outside of your lips. If you do only one color, it looks fine, but like you might think your lips look thin and so it helps with like the, the shadowing and the lighter color makes your lip go out and the darker kind of keeps it in, I don't know. And like, so far my lips aren't crusty, so that's really nice. I'm gonna go in with highlighter and and put that on my face and in certain parts of my eye that I want. I'm going to use some of the new brushes that I got. I like this look because it's not too much color like a Hunger Games like I did um, about a year ago. God, God bless her. And you know, and you only get better from here. So I'm looking for, you go. okay. This Too Faced palette and I can't find it. I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty highlighter. I I haven't used it. I I've used it, but I have not like not often. It's very um. It's nice. It's very nice. And I'm just putting that on. It has. It definitely has sparkle to it. So that's definitely your decision if you want sparkle in it or not. And then I'm going in my corner of my eyes with that sparkle because I like the way the sparkle looks. I don't know if you can see it. You can definitely see it. And I use that there. Yeah, we're gonna use this Naked palette. It's a little, it's seen its days, okay? And I'm going to use one of the brushes that is new to us here. Is it recording? I never know, I seriously don't know. Lightest color in here, second lightest, Dirty Sweet. The other one's completely gone. I have no idea what that is. And I'm still, I'm gonna put that in the corner as well. It's just more pigmented, not as like spark, sparkle, sparkly. Um, so this is a look that I would definitely do if I was going out. And um, I'm not going out right now, actually. It's, it's not a night to go out. It is a school night. But I got impatient, so I was like, I'm gonna make this now. Really thought I would dedicate this night to doing my makeup because I missed doing it and I love to do it. And a fun fact about this video, it's not really fun at all, but I, I'm i finally doing my makeup video where I do my makeup at my desk here with like my LED light. So it's finally, it felt nice to actually record this in a, its natural setting because I usually move things to like my basement at home or against an awkward wall here um, or with a cute backdrop and like so I was like I'm just gonna do what I usually do because I have my regular mirror my makeup's already over here in this area and it's not that bad of a background this is the final look and Sometimes I use a setting spray, sometimes I don't. I don't have setting spray right now, but I know that there's a lot on sale at Ulta, and maybe it's not anymore, but it was. It's definitely probably not by the time I upload this. But there's so many setting sprays that you can get for a good price, and they don't always have to be makeup setting spray. They can be like facial spray. I think that, that look, that's like the best type. I just don't have any. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video, and Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I hope to see some of you guys soon.